Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am your teacher, Dr. Khurab Shehzad. I am from National University of Modern Languages. Students have been asking me that I should also talk about some of the introductory things related to English grammar. So I have decided that I should make a number of lectures related to parts of speech and tenses in English. So our today's lecture is about nouns and its kinds. We know that a noun is a word used as the name of a person, place or thing. It is also called that noun is a naming word. So of course, we can name a person, place or a thing like Ali, Farhan, George, Karachi, Pakistan, Asia, laptop, computer. So Salahuddin was a wise king. The noun Salahuddin refers to a particular king, but the noun king can be applied to any other king as well as to Salahuddin. So it means that Salahuddin is a proper noun and king is a common noun. As I have just said, that noun is a naming word. So noun can be a proper noun like Khurram, Ali, America, Karachi, Lahore, Peshawar or it can be a common noun like man, woman, city, country, etc. We can call Salahuddin a proper noun and a king a common noun. Same is the case Muna is a proper noun, while girl is a common noun. Ali is a proper noun, while boy is a common noun. Cairo is a proper noun, while town is a common noun. Egypt is a proper noun, while country is a common noun. The word girl is a common noun because it is a name common to all girls, while Muna is a proper noun because it is the name of a particular girl. A common noun is a name given in common to every person or thing of the same class or kind. Common here means shared by all. So I have already given you the examples like laptop, computer, table, chair, door, girl, boy, all of them are common nouns. So all boys, they share the name that is boy. All girls, they share the name that is a girl. All countries, they share the name that is a country. All cities, they share the name that is a city. A proper noun is the name of some particular person or place. Proper means one's own. Hence, a proper noun is a person's own name. Proper nouns are always written with a capital letter at the beginning. Now remember, proper nouns, wherever they are coming, if it is beginning of the sentence, middle part of the sentence, or at the end of the sentence, proper noun is always written with a capital letter. For example, Ali plays cricket well. I like Ali very much. So Ali is coming in the beginning of the sentence. A is capital. Or I like Ali very much. Ali which is coming near the end of the sentence. Again, it is a proper noun. So A will be capital. Proper nouns are sometimes used as common nouns. Yes, sometimes we use proper nouns as common nouns. He is the Shakespeare of our times. So when we are talking about some other person who lives in this world with us and he is also a biggest dramatist of his time, so we can call him that he is the Shakespeare of our time. Of course, we know that Shakespeare was a great dramatist, okay, and we read about Shakespeare in literature, but when we are giving the same kind of quality to someone in our country, in our times, in our place. So we can add article the before that 
proper noun otherwise you remember that proper nouns they do not take any article neither a nor an nor the can come before the comp proper nouns so we cannot say the khuram we cannot say the pakistan we cannot say the ali we cannot say the karachi we cannot say a karachi we cannot say a lahore we cannot say a virginia okay so a n or the they are not used before the proper nouns unless we are using them for some other person or a place for example he is the shakespeare of our time common nouns include what are called collective nouns and abstract nouns so in common nouns we have got abstract nouns okay and we have got collective nouns a collective noun is the name of a number of collection of persons or things taken together and spoken as one whole as crowd mob team flock herd army fleet jury family nation parliament and committee so they are the collective nouns taken or spoken as one whole for example these days in pakistan we know that pakistan and england these two teams are playing cricket so when we say a team so team consists of usually 11 people so for 11 people we are using only one word that is team same is the clay case with the word army so in army we know that there are lakhs of people there are thousands of people and they are taken as a whole and they are spoken as a whole so army parliament again in pakistan we have got a parliamentary system so in this parliamentary system we have got number of people they sit in the national assembly so parliament is a collective noun again committee is a collective noun crowd is a collective noun fleet is a collective noun jury is a collective noun for example a fleet a collection of ships or vessels an army a collection of soldiers a crowd a collection of people the police disperse the crowd so here we have got two collective nouns the police as well as the crowd remember the police the word police is always used in english language as a plural noun so you will say the police have dispersed the crowd the police are trying to catch the thief the police have done this thing so the word police it is a plural noun in english language the french army was defeated in waterloo the herd of cattle is passing so herd is a collective noun it is used with cattle but the rest of the collective nouns they are usually taken as singular but sometimes they can also be taken as plural as well but the word police is always taken as plural an abstract noun is usually the name of a quality action or state considered apart from the object apart from the object which belongs to as for example in quality we have got goodness so goodness is a noun kindness kindness is a noun whiteness whiteness is a noun darkness hardness brightness honesty wisdom bravery they are abstract nouns abstract means something which resides in the mind something that we cannot perceive through our five senses we have got five senses senses of ear see eyes taste smell and this is how we can come to know about different kinds of things but abstract nouns 
they cannot be touched they cannot be seen i cannot say i found slavery in the market i cannot say i found goodness in the market i cannot say i went to the market i and i bought kindness no i cannot say that honesty is sitting in the next room or i cannot say bravery is sitting in front of me so these are the qualities and these qualities are there in our mind then action laughter this is basically from laugh theft this is basically from thief thief movement this is basically from move judgment this is basically from judge and hatred this is basically from hate so they are the actions so they are action nouns then state childhood from child boyhood from boy youth from young slavery from slave sleep sickness death and poverty again i cannot say that i met sickness in the hospital today okay so these are the states these are the actions these are the qualities and they are abstract and again with abstract nouns we cannot use a or an the names of arts and sciences example grammar music chemistry are also abstract nouns abstract nouns are formed from adjectives yes i have just told you kindness is made from kind so kind is adjective honesty is made from honest honest is adjective they are also made from verbs like obedience is made from obey obey is verb growth is made from grow grow is verb okay from common nouns they are also made from common nouns so childhood is made from a child and slavery is made from slave so here i can share the exercise point out the nouns in the following sentences and say whether they are common proper collective or abstract so the crowd was very big of course the crowd is a noun here and we know it is a collective noun always say the truth so truth is a noun which is abstract we all love honesty again honesty is a noun which is abstract our class consists of 20 pupils so here we have got two nouns class class is collective noun and pupils pupils is a common noun so common nouns usually you know they have got singular and plural as well so later on we will talk about singular and plural as well the elephant has great strength so elephant is a common noun and strength is a collective uh, sorry abstract noun solomon was famous for his wisdom wisdom is a noun which is abstract and solomon is a proper noun cleanliness is wonderful so cleanliness is a noun okay which is abstract we saw a fleet of ships in the harbor a fleet is a collective noun and ships is a common noun and harbor is a common noun the class is studying grammar so grammar is also abstract noun and class is a collective noun the nile over flows its banks every year so nile is a proper noun and with the name of rivers and oceans we use article da keep this thing in your mind so the nile okay these are the answers i have already given you the answers now regular and irregular plural nouns so nouns we know that we have got common nouns and proper nouns common nouns are further divided into countable nouns and uncountable or non countable nouns like pen laptop mobile chair okay fan class student all of them are common nouns all of them are countable nouns so they have got plural so class classes fan fans 
मोबाइल मोबाइल लैपटॉप लैपटॉप चेयर चेयर द प्लूर ऑफ मोस्ट नाउन इज फॉर्म बाय एडिंग एस ऑफकोर्स बॉक्स बॉक्सेस बट वेन दर्ड इज एंडिंग विद एक्स सी एच एस एच ओ then usually we add es so box boxes final es is added to nouns that end in sh ch s z and x so baby babies when there is y which is coming at the end of a noun y is changed into i and es is added so baby babies the plural of words that end in a consonant plus y is spelled i e s so baby so y before y we have got consonant sound so y is changed into i and then e s these are the irregular common nouns man men women women child children please for god sake i have seen students writing childrens which is wrong so do not write childrens it is children already plural do not make its plural ox oxen foot feet goose geese tooth teeth mouse mice and louse lice the above nouns have irregular plural forms that do not end in s eco ecos hero heroes potato potatoes tomato tomatoes some nouns that end in o add es to form the plural some nouns not all nouns so these you will have to learn by heart but here are the exceptions they are ending with o but es is not added only os is added auto autos gato gatos kangaroo kangaroos kilo kilos memo memos photo photos piano pianos radio radios solo solos soprano sopranos studio studios tattoo tato tattoos video videos and zoo zoos some nouns that end in o add only s to form the plural note when in doubt use your dictionary or spell check yes dictionary is the best place to find out the exact plural of a word but usually we add es but sometimes the exceptions are there they require only s and if you are in doubt please consult the dictionary